Well, hello, buddy, and welcome. Please, make yourself at home. We're just doing a little packing, making sure we have all the essentials, and that we'll be comfortable. We head out tomorrow, around 8 a.m. Then, we'll launch off in our kayak, and journey about nine miles as the crow flies, to where the river meets the creek, where there's lots of mature white pines, groves of aspen, and paper birch, red oaks, and plenty of tall leaning white cedars, hemlocks, and sugar maples, some clinging to the banks, and some clinging to their last leaves as autumn draws near. I'm so excited and so glad you're coming with us. That's our cooler, full of snacks. More on that later. Ah, my best knapsack. Tomorrow's a big day, buddy. I'll see you in the morning, eh? Perfect. Just about 40 degrees Fahrenheit and a little overcast. Not too shabby, buddy. What a beautiful morning. Our walk today isn't too far. We'll skirt the creek to our kayak, which is about 250 yards as the crow flies. Here we go. Ah, plenty of goodies on board. Anything perishable is safely kept in these waterproof sacks for safe keepings. Mm -hmm. A nice little cushion for my first mate and best buddy, old Donnybrook. A cold pop and a secret compartment for special cargo. We'll see you in a bit, eh? Perfect. Let's camp here tonight, right up on this ridge, with a nice landing spot, right where the river bends. Oh boy. Well, first things first, let's set up our shelter. We'll be setting up an A-frame tarp, which is really just a tarp, set up between two trees, with a reliable piece of paracord. The 30 degree pitch of the A-frame will create the perfect water runoff in case of rain and it'll give us a nice little 10 foot long living room, a nice place to relax, maybe journal, read a book, or play a little Game Boy.
Although A-frames have their advantages, like being easy to pack and set up, there are definitely a couple of downsides to them too. There's no floor, and it can leave you vulnerable to predators. For the floor, I brought another tarp. And for the predators, I think we'll be okay, buddy. I checked around for game trails and any sign. And other than a couple white-tailed drop-ins and some early season buck rubs, I think we'll be okay. You never want to set up your shelter on a game trail or near game sign just to be safe. Home sweet home. Good boy. Let's start a fire, eh? With some sapwood. The perfect tinder to get our fire going. This stump was a red pine that was most likely sawed off by a local beaver. And when left behind, these stumps often are full of sap. It just sits there and forms on the inside of the pine tree, commonly referred to as a heartwood of the tree, where the wood's a little darker color. Perfect. a couple cups of some hot jitter juice, buddy, over an open fire. We'll start by boiling some fresh spring water. Then, We'll use six scoops of this stuff. And when ready, pour our boiling water over the grounds. And let it brew. I normally wait a couple chin scratches, and then we're good to go. Now, we have a little time before supper. Let's go fishing, buddy. We'll follow this game trail upstream a bit and look for some log jams. Perfect. And a nice little platform to boot. Pretty cool, eh? We'll just use a wacky rig with a green pumpkin Sanko and try to get it between those logs. Normally, if the wacky rig is going to work, we'll find out pretty quick.
we didn't catch any fish. But sometimes that's how she goes. Looks like it's deep dish Hawaiian pizzas for supper. No complaints here, buddy. We'll start by slicing some deli ham. Then we'll add some Dole's fresh pineapple. My cast iron, seasoned with sunflower oil and greased with a little coconut oil. That's refined, so it doesn't taste like coconut. It just leaves a perfect crispy crust. For our crust, we'll be using Pillsbury pizza crust. And to make it a deep dish, we'll just keep it extra thick. We'll place it here until the other side is ready, and then we'll flip it. I like mine extra crispy. Then we'll add our pizza sauce. and some fresh shredded mozzarella. Perfect. Our delicious toppings. Then we'll cover it with another cast iron and wait until the cheese is melted. Holy what? Served best with a buddy. And of course, a cold pop. There's only one way to end a perfect day of camping. With a bonfire. And a chance to unwind where the only television is the glowing red embers of this fire, slowly turning these pine logs to ash. And I love it, buddy. I could watch all day. But I think it's best we hit the hay. We got another big day tomorrow. It's supposed to drop below freezing, so we'll add a couple more layers just to be safe.
about some Pokemon to get our eyes tired. Good night, buddy. Today was fun. Ah, the next morning, plenty of anxiety as we pack it all up and do it again. But this time's different. As I pack our kayak, I'm reminded about how good life is. And that this time, we aren't going home to an empty house. We're coming home to you all. Our buddies. Where we can hang out, relax, crack a couple cold pops, and be ourselves. Thank you for that. Thank you for being here. And until next time, please, enjoy yourself.